Hey, this is Jocelyn R.W. Kelly, and this is my five minutes. So when we talk about who I am and where I come from, I'm born and raised here in Gary, Indiana. I actually was formally educated here in Gary, um, left, had the opportunity to go to a boarding school in Central Indiana, Cove Girls Academy, and then I took a real big deep and I actually went out the country. But I am proud to say that I am a graduate of New Wallace High School and went on to further my education and begin my life in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm a Spelman College graduate as well. Um, done a lot of things, seen a lot of things, been exposed, but where, where and what's most important to me is here in Gary, Indiana. Um, all of my life experiences have brought me to where I am and have made me the woman that I am today. Things don't just happen, they happen just. So coming into my own or becoming grown, on July 14th, 1995, four weeks before the start of my senior year in college, I was blessed to become a mother. In that moment, my life changed. The reason why, the reason how, the reason, all of my reasons for doing what I do absolutely changed. And I became the mother of a prince. African-American male that I did not truly know being in love what it encompassed until that little boy came into my world and he is in fact my world so life continues to happen and we grow up together and we experience lows highs and the in-betweens and he grows up and he becomes a phenomenal individual he changed my life yet again on December 4th, 2015. I tell you, things don't just happen, they happen just. On December 4th, 2015, my son made a leap of faith, which forced me into living a life in a different manner, a more purposeful manner, a more passionate manner. In that moment, on December 4th, 2015, I learned what love is, I learned what faith was, and I learned what living life to its fullest meant. Live to love and love to live. And that is what and who I am and how I breathe and deal with every day. So another pivotal date in my life was June 26, 2015 when I was given the opportunity to leave my first job. That's right, they fired me. And I cried for all of 15 minutes, but I thank God for that. Because with that, I have come into my own and I've learned something more about myself, that I am resilient and I definitely am the comeback kid. So with that, gave me the perfect opportunity to pursue my passion. And it's not being a restaurateur, it's not being a cook or a chef, but it's being a motivator, it's being someone who inspires, someone who encourages. And that's my gift that God has anointed on my life and has given me to give to the world. And how do I do that? I do it through Jay's Breakfast Club here in Gary. And through it all, I've learned to trust in God. <laughs> I've learned to have faith. I've learned to have understanding. And Jay's Breakfast Club, which just started off as a simple entity uh, to go facility that you come in, pick up your goods and keep on going. And then once you leave, you enjoy it. But the people wanted more. The people wanted a place to sit. They wanted a place to fellowship. And now that to go mentality is now a place of encouragement. It's a place of joy. It's a place of love. Our mission is inspiring positivity through love, doing what we love, where we love, for the people that we love. And that just so excites me on so many levels. And just embracing that mission, that passion for what I have um, for our community um, through this, being a little uh, ray of sunshine in a community that has been plagued with so much negativity. This has given us an opportunity to open doors and do th things that other people have never thought about doing. Our, our little bitty restaurant that was supposed to be a takeout facility is now an incubator for small businesses. Every Saturday, 
we invite small businesses into our environment where we don't charge them, but we ask them only to invite their family and friends who may not know about us, to invite them to come eat with us, and then our customers who don't know about them to share with them. So that's what we call cross-marketing. If I win and you're winning, we're all winning. Our mission has grown even greater. So now we're embarking upon obtaining our own facility. That's right, we're doing something that hasn't been done in Gary in a very long time. As a private company, we're embarking upon something that in my lifetime, I, it's rarely been done, um, but we're taking a big leap of faith and we're making a major investment in our community by obtaining land and building from the ground up. Again, to inspire and to encourage folks far and wide from our community and outside of our community that it's okay to dare to dream, but more, most importantly, take the leap and make it happen. Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Keon Viverett, and one of the places that I love to frequent the most because of the atmosphere and the ambiance is Jay's Breakfast Club. It's like no other place that I've ever been and that I visit on a regular basis. The owner, CEO, Jocelyn Washington Kelly, is very phenomenal. I'm grateful and thankful that she brought an idea of home cooked food right here to Gary, Indiana. Everyone loves a great Sunday dinner, and this is one of the places that you can get that Sunday dinner, along with down home Southern breakfast. So if you wanna come, have a great time, great conversation, and just be around good people, I challenge you to visit Jay's Breakfast Club. Hi, I'm Ferris Evans Jr., the pastor of the Clark Road Missionary Baptist Church right here in the city of Gary, Indiana. But let me tell you something about Gary, Indiana. It is the host of one of the greatest restaurants, independent restaurants, and that is Jay's Breakfast Club. Let me tell you, I'm a fan and a customer of Jay's Breakfast Club. Not just because the food is just scrumptious, just delicious, but Jay's Breakfast Club, their service is awesome. And I go to restaurants, not just because the food is great, but the service is great. Jocelyn, the CEO of Jay's Breakfast Club, she's gonna make sure she not only services you, but she wants to make sure that you are pleased. And I appreciate that. Listen, in my opinion, the behavior of any establishment has all to do with the character of the CEO. And Jocelyn is a awesome owner, CEO, and server. I want you to come out and check out Jay's Breakfast Club. What I, what I personally like is she will spoil you. This is Jocelyn R.W. Kelly, and this has been my five minutes.